Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be removing this dip powder set I did uh, two weeks ago, actually a little over two weeks ago. So just want to give an update on how the nails are looking. Um, this is what two weeks of wear looks like. The only thing I noticed with this set is um, there was like this dark mark that came on my nails like maybe a week after I put them on and I noticed that a lot of the gemstones See, one, two, three, four of the gemstones fell off of this hand. Actually, five. And then on this hand, they all stayed. And this was the hand where I applied them with the Builder Gel on top. And then this one, I did the Builder Gel with the top coat on top and applied it. So I actually think this method works better. But um, it did start to kind of discolor a little bit sitting on top of the nail. But anywho, all things considered, I think that... Two weeks of wear out of this set is really good. Oh, the other thing is it cracked over here, but it never fell off the nail. So that's pretty good. And the only part I noticed was lifting is this hand and this hand, but all the rest of the hands, I mean, all the rest of the fingers are good. So yeah, um, I'm going to actually show you all how to remove this set. I just saw a hack where you use some hot rice and um, a baggie and acetone and it's supposed to help. They say it's optional to file the top coat off, so I'm probably going to do it without filing the top coat because I want it to be as quick as possible. And so yeah, I'm going to hop right on into this tutorial. So things you'll need is a nail file, you need a cuticle pusher, some cuticle oil, baggies, fabric softener sheets, and then also a bowl of hot rice. So this has actually been heated up already. I have it sitting underneath a towel so that um, it can stay warm while I do a quick prep here. Um, the lady in the tutorial she seems like she was able to remove her stuff in like, you know, five minutes. So I'm hoping it works just as quickly for me because my little one is napping and I'm really trying to find ways to get this dip powder off my hands way quicker. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, prep the bag really quick and then just throw my fingers in the rice. Um, I want to set a, a timer here for five minutes and I just want to see if it actually works. I'm going to go ahead and take my baggie, pour some acetone in here. Like so. I'm going to take my fabric softener, which actually I think is too much. No, I'm going to just use a whole one. Take my fabric softener. Just fold it this way. Put it in the bag here. I'm going to take my cuticle oil just to kind of moisturize my fingers a bit so they don't get too dehydrated. She did mention not to get it on the nail, so I'm going to make sure not to do that. I wonder if that like affects anything with it being on the nail. I thought oil helped release it, but maybe I'm wrong in that. Okay, so I'm just going to hydrate my skin here really quick. Like so. I'm going to take my bowl of hot rice. Like so. Put it in here. Put my finger in. I'm going to wait five minutes. I'll be back and let you guys know how it works. The other thing you'll want to do is just kind of move your fingers around while it's in there. The other thing that she didn't do in the video but that I think I want to do is just kind of cover cover the rice so that um, it kind of heats up everything a lot quicker. So I'm going to actually cover my hand with a towel um, just so that it you know all gets nice and hot. Okay, so this is what the nails look like after 10 minutes of soaking in the hot rice. And to be honest with you, it does seem like it's working. Um, if you can see here, you see everything is kind of like peeling off, right? So this makes me think that if I had have, uh, taken off that top coat, and also the tip of this nail started to rub off as well. So this makes me think if I had have, uh, taken off the top coat, this probably would actually already be off my hands. But what I'm going to do is uh, take my cuticle pusher and see what I can actually get off um, without having had removed that top coat. So I'm going to move this rice to the side, like so. And then I'm going to just start scraping and see what comes up here. That part was already loose, as I showed you all earlier. Nope, that doesn't feel like it's coming off. 
Let's see. It does feel like it really, really loosened it. Okay, so yeah, that popped right off here. Yeah, that I feel like that, that worked better than what I tried last time. Um, and I think the key is actually scraping off that top coat. I was being lazy and didn't want to do that. And I really feel like if I had have done that, these nails would be off right now. So next time around, which I have this hand to practice with now, I'm going to try it with remover. You see how that kind of, you see how loose that got it? You know, so I feel like if I had that top coat off, this stuff would be off my nails by now. So I do think that one extra step is pretty important. Uh, I know the lady said it was optional in the video, but I think it's actually necessary if you want a quick removal. And the other thing I'll do too is I'm going to leave a link to that video that inspired this. But yeah, I am going to... Yeah, just try to see what I can to get these off. And then I'm going to go in with the other nail and see if uh, scraping off the top coat will make it come off quicker. Because I do feel like, you see how on the ends here it's like really, really loose? That makes me think that if that top coat wasn't there, it would have just come right on off. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see how that works. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to actually soak this for maybe like another, you know, I don't know, five, ten minutes and see what happens. But I definitely want to remove the top coat when I do the other hand. So I'll be back here shortly to show you all my progress. Okay, so my hands have been soaking for another 10 minutes. And let's see if any progress has been made. Um, it seems like a little bit, so let's see here. Let me try to see what actually will come off. I'm gonna move this out of the frame here. Oops, like so. Let's see if you all can see what I'm doing. Let's put that back here. Okay, here we go. So let's see if that did anything. Um, feeling pretty disappointed right now because I thought this was gonna take five minutes and it's taking way longer. Okay, that popped off pretty easily. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. See if this comes off. Okay. It seems like it wants to come off in one piece. Okay, yeah, that actually did come off pretty easily. Let's see if this one comes off as easily as that one did. It just seems like with these dip powders, it just takes time to get the stuff off your hand, you know? Um, not really sure what can be done to make the stuff come off quicker, but I'm finding that it just, it just takes time. Because last time I did this, I did it with the hot water. It still took like 30 minutes. So that came off. So I actually have a nail enhancement on this one. Um, I did some builder gel on this pinky. So I'm really hoping that um, it loosened the builder gel as well. But I'm going to see what comes off here when I try to remove it. It's looking like the builder gel kind of was loosened on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that flaking out. So that's the builder gel that I had put on. So I'm going to just remove some of it on the inside here. Just to see if that'll help get the back part to come off. Because I don't want to break what nail did grow underneath there. You know. So I'm not really sure how to get off. Okay, so 
Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip part of this off. Okay, so I actually clipped this nail off because, um, you know, it's an enhancement and I don't really wanna keep that part for my next set anyway. So I'm gonna kinda go right where my natural nail is. Just clip that part down. Okay, and see if that made a difference here. It did, boom, and it popped right off. Awesome sauce. Okay, so my thoughts on this method so far is not really, you know. Um, what I am gonna do though, this piece is stuck on there, but I think I can just file that off later. So this is what the nails are looking like. Um, doing the rice method with um, out filing the top coat. I'm gonna go ahead and file the top coat on this hand and see how that works out. I feel like it's gonna work out a lot better. I did change the file that I was using because this one actually just has more texture so I think it'll get through the um, the layers here a lot quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead through and just kind of rough up this top coat here. And I'm really hoping that this works because I'm so ready for these nails to come off and I need a quicker method for getting my nails off you all. I'm just tired of taking 30, 40 minutes, sometimes even an hour to take this stuff off. I really wanna just be able to have a method where I can just, I wanna get it down to like 15 minutes removal time, you know? So if I can get that happening, I would be really happy. So I'm just going in and filing off that top layer. I did not bother to remove the crystals because like I said, they were kind of low-key falling off anyway. I guess I'll go around the free edge too to kind of break the seal that I had on there. Because I did cap my free edge. So I'm going to go ahead and break the seal on the edges of all of my nails. And continue on with getting the top coat off of all the nails. My nails have been, the top coat has been filed off the nails. I'm gonna go ahead and heat my rice up again and prepare another baggie and try the soak off method again. You guys wish me luck. I hope this, I hope this one really only takes five minutes. Praying and hoping. So wish me luck. Okay, so I've reheated my rice. It's nice and hot. Actually, a bit too hot. I'm gonna go ahead and prep this other baggie here with some acetone and another fabric softener. I do think that this fabric softener helped to keep the nails and also the hand a little bit hydrated. Or maybe it's because I put the oil on my hand. I'm not really sure, or maybe the combination of the two, but my hands do not feel nearly as dry as they normally do when I've removed my dip powder. So that's a nice plus. I just put acetone in the bag along with some, uh, the fabric softener sheet. I think there's a hole in my bag. So I'm actually going to reinforce it with a second bag. So two bags in here now. I'm gonna just uh, kind of let it sit in this hot rice while I just prep my nail a little bit more. And I'm just really gonna just add the cuticle oil to my skin around the nails, not actually touching the nail. Uh, so that, you know, my skin stays a little bit hydrated during this process cause it can be very drying. So I'm gonna just rub my hand like this. You all, I'm praying and hoping this is only five minutes because I'm gonna set a timer and see. I buff the top layer this time around, so follow the normal protocol. So let's see how this works, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and dip my finger inside of the bag here in the hot rice and I'm gonna cover it and I'll be back in five minutes, okay? My hands have been soaking for almost eight minutes and I just kind of want to see what the progress is and it looks about the same I'm happy to see that it's eating away at um, that tip that I put on I don't know if y'all can see that or not but the tip is like eating away at the the false nail I put on so that's nice and then in general it looks like all the nails are just kind of wearing off here at the tip so I'm actually going to scrape off and see what I can get off my nails. It's looking pretty promising, so I'm excited about this. Where's my... Okay, 
here we go. My cuticle pusher here. I'm going to start with the thumb. Wow. Okay. That is just coming right on up here. Excited to see that. Okay. So it definitely seems like scraping off that top coat made a big difference. Oh, don't even know if you all caught that. Wow. Let me see if I can get in frame a little bit better here. Okay. Let me try this nail here. It seems like this, with scraping off the top coat, now it, it wants to come off maybe more in layers. And I have to remember this one had a, a gel base down too. Like that builder base. Let's see if it let's see what it looks like coming off the actual nail. And I think that's probably the difference here. Uh it seems like it comes off the natural nail pretty easily. Because these two are just it directly on my natural nail. And that's looking pretty promising here. Just gonna kind of scrape this a little bit and see what comes off. Again, it's a little more elbow grease than I want to put into it, but this is only after eight minutes and most of it is off, so I'm not really complaining, to be honest with you. Because um, imagine if I soaked both hands at the same time. I feel like if I soak both hands with scraping off the top coat, I could probably get this down to maybe like, I think I could get it down to 15 minutes. So I'll be excited to try my next set and see what happens. Um, I'm just trying to make sure this builder gel will come off with my nail easily here. And I actually, I want to do what I did on the other hand, which is, um, I do like to see that it ate through the dip powder though. Look at that. It did good though. And now this is, uh, actually just the builder gel here. I'm getting down to that layer of builder gel. So that's pretty cool to see, you know. The layers are coming off there. Still a little more work than I want to do, but um, that was eight minutes of soaking. So now I'm going to go ahead and try um, to soak it for maybe like another five minutes and see what happens. The other thing I'm going to do is, like I said, this is builder gel on this nail here. So I'm going to go ahead and clip it down to the natural nail, which is about right here. Yeah. Clip that there and clip that here. Like so. I'm going to do the same thing with the pinky. Like so. And so now I am going to go ahead and see if I can soak the rest of this off. I'm hoping another five minutes to do the trick, but we will see. All right, give it another five minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually lost track of time. I think I've been soaking for almost 10 minutes now. So let's see what things are looking like here. Okay, it looks look like it's eating through everything really, really good. So let me see what I can scrape off. And I'm hoping I'll be done with this now because this is still, again, taking way longer than I want it. Yeah, I don't feel like scraping off that. Okay, so I'm back. Everything is fully removed. I do apologize I wasn't able to capture a majority of this hand coming off because my battery went dead and I actually did not realize it. So that's unfortunate, but um, I will give you all my thoughts. It feels like, or I believe that not, uh, I believe that not falling off the top shiny layer helped remove it a little bit quicker because on this hand I feel like it took me a lot longer to get everything off and there's still like a little bit of residue left on my fingernails if you can see particularly this finger and this finger you all don't mind these two fingers I actually had builder gel on them and I just wanted them to grow out a little bit longer I'm going to cut the rest of my nails to be that length because now they're a little bit longer than I want them to be um and then there's also residue still left on this hand not a big deal I can file it off but in comparison to this hand where honestly there's no residue on any of the nails at all everything came off in like one um in like one piece with the exception of this nail because this nail also had builder gel on it so there's a little bit of residue on that but i mean 
I feel like not actually filing the top layer was better. And um, also, um, I feel like using the fabric softener sheets helped to keep everything nice and moisturized. And then also putting the cuticle oil on the fingers, I'm definitely gonna be using that moving forward. I feel like this method would work really great for just like regular gel polish. It would definitely get it off in, in five minutes or less, honestly, because I've removed regular gel polish in like little to no time. Um, it also could depend on the products that you're using. I do use like Beatles gel polish, uh, base coat, top coat, everything. And that stuff is kind of indestructible. So um, I think it also depends on the brand of the polish that you're using. That stuff is really high quality. And so it's really hard to get off. I feel like if I was using like my Sally Hansen gel polishes or my red carpet uh, nail polishes, um, like this stuff would have came off like way easier. Um, and, but then again, too, I'm new to dip powders and removal of that process. So maybe this is just how long it really takes for dip powders. The other thing I noticed too, right, is that when I removed it on this hand, my fingernails aren't as like bendy. And on this hand, they like bend really quick. So I feel like my nails are a little bit weaker on this side. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hydrate my cuticle and my nail. Um, would I recommend this method? Like I said, maybe for gel polish removal alone, dip powders. I mean, it did work though, right? Um, and I think what I liked about this method too is that with the rice, I mean, wow, the rice stays hot for like ever. So even like 30 minutes later after me still scrubbing my fingers trying to get stuff off of this hand here, um, my rice is still warm, right? So. I definitely think using hot rice in place of hot water is way better because I know if I don't know if you all remember from my last video, but that hot water like didn't even last five minutes. So I definitely like that way better um, for, you know, if I'm doing a, a remover where I need to to keep the bottom layer hot. Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to try the bowls. Um, that I saw on Amazon where it has like the individual fingers and you can put the hot water underneath and try it that way. But honestly, um, I'm not finding these methods to be as quick as I want them to be. And maybe like I said, with dip powder, it just takes time for removal. Um, the last thing I'm going to try in my next video is to remove my uh, dip powder um, set that I used uh, with gel liquids. I'm going to try to just e-file it off and see how that works. I'm super nervous and super scared to do that, but I do think that um, it might be the quickest option because, yeah, this dip powder ain't no joke, y'all. So, yeah, this is how the nails are looking after everything. Yeah, this hand right here came out really good, and it's the one where I didn't uh, fall off the top layer. But anywho, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, uh, Thursdays in particular on my Nail Therapy Thursday. So if you're here for some nail content, definitely come back next Thursday, and I will be sure to upload another cool video. Um, next video will probably be me uh, doing my next set of nails and or a haul because I've been getting some more nail supplies in. So I'm super excited about that. Got tons of stuff to share with you all. And yeah, um, let me know how you all remove your dip powder. And it's and particularly people who do their dip powder using gel polish, because I kind of exclusively do that. Every so often I'll use dip liquids, but in general I like to use the gel, gel, uh, gel polish to do it. And so for those who do it with that method, what's the quickest way that you all have found to remove your dip powders? Because... It's been a struggle and a half for me. Go ahead and leave me some love in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.